We're hearing a lot at the moment, the sort of typical unionist attack line is the 2014 vote was once in a generation, once in a lifetime. Um, but as we know, uh, seven years have passed, nearly seven years, and a lot has changed. And there has been a real material change in circumstance, not only with Brexit, but with the pandemic and with the climate crisis as well. We have a lot going on. Uh, so I think that, you know, we're hearing a lot from the Tories that this is not the right time for a pandemic because, this is not, sorry, this is not the right time for a referendum because we're in the middle of a pandemic and we should be focusing on tackling poverty and a lot of other issues. But in reality, we could be tackling poverty with independence. We could be focusing on the things that need fixed in society by using the great powers we would get through independence. We can see that there's been uh, 21 consecutive polls showing that majority of people in Scotland support Scottish independence. Uh, we've seen polls showing that people trust the Scottish government significantly more than they trust the UK government. So why should we deny the people of Scotland a chance to have another say on this. Um, as well as that, we can see devolution is clearly not um, being taken seriously at Westminster. Um, we know Boris Johnson said that devolution was a disaster. We've seen Jacob Rees-Mogg say that uh, devolution is essentially constitutional tinkering that should be corrected. So we shouldn't have any confidence that we will be getting further powers. Um, the vow of 2014 has not been delivered on. We have not been given the powers that we were promised. And I think people in Scotland have seen over the last year that Hollywood is perfectly capable of dealing with problems itself. Um, and we could be very strong as an independent nation. As well as that, we've seen the Internal Market Bill, which gives the UK government power to uh, legislate in devolved areas. And we should be very concerned about that because that could go quite far. And with, they could just start chipping away at devolution um, wherever they feel like it essentially. And we'd end up with a race to the bottom on all kinds of standards, environmental standards, food and drink standards. And obviously with the climate crisis, the first thing we wanna be doing is focusing on our environmental standards. We really should not accept these being uh, legislated on from the UK government at all. So there is so many aspects to this and I could talk forever and ever about why it's time for another referendum. But to sort of summarize, uh, the idea that we can't have another vote because of the pandemic is just complete nonsense, essentially. Um, the way that we should power Scotland's recovery from this crisis is essentially through independence and the powers we would get. Um, I know that Nicola Sturgeon has said, maybe now is the time to look at a universal basic income. How can we power something like that without having the powers that independence would give us without those boring powers? So there's all these kinds of things that we could do, these radical ideas to improve our society um, that we don't have the power to do right now just because of devolution. So yeah, I mean, sorry, I just talked for ages there, but I think that, yeah, now is the time, definitely. And I'm really interested to hear what the other panel members have to say, although I'm sure Lorna will be very closely linked to what I just said there. <laughs>